Be true to your infinite dream. Life, the universe, God, source, whatever you want to call it, has planted a seed within you. That is your eternal self. That's your dream. That's your passion. That's your calling to express that into the world. It's like one of the most important reasons why you came here to play the game of life. And the most interesting thing is the expression of that, the bringing that forward, the being true to your authentic self, that soul self of, of who and what you are. That's the key to transforming your life experience so that you can open to more joy, more abundance, more satisfaction in life. But it's also the key to becoming a catalyst for transformation and change on the planet because who you are ultimately matters. Over these last few episodes, we've been kind of taking these steps through this process to truly becoming that powerful catalyst. The first being committed to healing your life. And if you haven't had a chance to listen to that episode, I invite you to go back because you have to be committed to your healing. It's an ongoing process. I would like to say that, you know, we go to therapy for six months and we're done, but no, those things continue to arise as you continue to unveil the magnificence that's within you, you're going to find new opportunities to heal things. And then secondly, we move into this aspect of awakening, of peeling back the layers and realize that there's this already beautiful, enlightened light being within us. There's nothing we have to go do. There's nothing we have to go seek. It's all right here already. We just have to be unveiled, uh, unveil it and committed to our awakening. And then the third aspect is really becoming uh, more faithful, more trusting in our ability to shape and shift matter and energy, to be true to that divine spark that's within and to begin shaping and shifting it into our life experience. I would love to say that this is an easy process and it's going to unfold, you know, six months and you'll be able to turn it around. No, it's a process. It's a journey. And as I committed myself to being true to the divine spark within me, I realized all these things came up that needed to be healed. I needed to go through circumstances and challenges to be able to cleanse the vessel, so to speak, to prepare me for what it is that I was stepping into and also to accelerate my own awakening process. So I had to be diligent in my healing. I had to be diligent in doing my meditation and my journal work and my, uh, you know, connecting in to that spark within and unveiling it. And then third and foremost is being true and embodying this truth that I have the ability to shape and shift matter and energy, that I'm not a victim of circumstances. I can create them. I can recreate them. I can shape a mold in this substance, this energy that surrounds me and begin to create what it is that I truly create. And you have that ability too. So bring your attention. What is your dream? What is that divine spark that's within you? Now, perhaps maybe, and I just heard this right now, you don't know what that is. But I'm going to venture to say that that might not be the truth. And sometimes that beautiful ego mind part of us likes to like cover it up. Oh no, that would bring on change. That would bring on new levels of vulnerability. That would bring on a new possibility of getting hurt or judged or whatever. Quiet the mind, tune in and ask the question, what is my divine spark? What is my passion, my purpose, my calling? And if you already know that, how can I amplify it? How can I bring it forward? in another more powerful, positive way. I was a master at dimming my light, and I'm still working through things today to help me to shine brighter and brighter and to really be able to touch more people's lives. But I had to work through my own things. You know, I had to go back and heal issues about being good enough and childhood things that I picked up over my experience. Still get to release and still get to dissipate some of that energy. I had to be committed to my awakening and continue to embody that I am a divine expression of life and that everything that's within the universe is within me. Is it a process? Do I have it down completely? Well, I haven't walked on any water lately, you know, 
Not recently, right? <laughs> you know, so there's work to be done. There's always more to unfold into. Sometimes we get so caught up, we think we should be, oh, I should have arrived by now. Well, what are you going to do? Once you've arrived and you're sitting there, you know everything there is to know, you've worked through all your stuff, life is going to become very boring. This is a journey, a journey that's going to teach you, a journey that's going to enlighten you, a journey that's going to prepare you for bringing forward and stepping into being true to your infinite dream. So I want to encourage you to be true to yours because your light and who and what you are matters. And the expression of that, the shining of that light is the key to your own personal transformation, your own fulfillment, your own joy in life, but it's also the catalyst that's going to lift the world around you and be uh, a puzzle piece in this thing called global transformation, this thing called ascension of consciousness. So you see, there's no mistake that you're here. There's no mistake that we're here. Each and every one of us plays an important role in this thing called global transformation. So once again, we need to heal, we need to awaken, and we need to be true to our ability to uh, our spark within us and to begin harnessing our ability to shape and shift matter and energy. So we set the intention. I am creating this. I am expressing this. I am healing this. Okay. And then you visualize it. You imagine within that sacred space of your imagination. But then the most important thing is you sprinkle the emotion and the feeling upon that vision and you feel it as if it already exists. That's what communicates to the field. That's what shapes and shifts matter and energy. So you see why it's so important to be true to our emotional energy. And then we affirm it. We let it go. We affirm it. We remind ourselves daily. And then we follow the divine guidance that most assuredly is going to show up in your life. So I want you just to take some nice deep breaths. This is a little piece entitled Sueños Infinitos, Infinite Dreams, and it's committed to your dreams. So breathe in the notes. Imagine, feel, shape, and shift. The time has come for you to step into being this exceptional expression of life that you are. Deep inhales. <laughs> Deep inhale, you are an extraordinary expression of life. And within you is a dream, a passion, a calling, a seed that was planted within you at birth. And you cried at that time 
because there was a part of you that didn't believe that you could be true to that, that you didn't have the power and the ability to bring that forward. But nothing could be farther from the truth. So recommit yourself to that divine spark that's within you. And regardless how things might have worked or have not have worked or the challenges that have come up in you being true to that essence of who and what you are, continue to move forward. Everything that has happened has happened for your highest, grandest, and greatest purpose to prepare you to shine, to prepare you to fulfill your purpose, to prepare you to become a catalyst for transformation and change on the planet. So it is essential for you to raise your energy, raise your vibration. And if you haven't worked with any of my music before, I invite you to go to markromeromusic.com forward slash gift, markromeromusic.com forward slash gift. You can download a track of high vibration music and begin raising your energy so that you can rise above the static and noise of the modern day world, heal your life, reclaim the truth of who and what you are, and ultimately begin to shape and shift your life from a powerful space so that you can truly step into becoming a catalyst for transformation and change, not only in your life, but in the world that we live in. Your light matters. You matter. Look forward to sharing the experience within you. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Going to be more videos, more music and energy healing work to continue to support you in tuning the strings of your life experience so that you can really play beautiful music throughout every aspect of your life. Take care. Have a harmonious day.